The ASUS ROG Phone 2 launched in China on July 22nd and while we don't have a launch date for India yet, we did get a chance to check out the phone in India for a few hours, enough to see what the gaming phone is all about. The ROG Phone 2 comes across as an incremental upgrade to the first ROG Phone and less of a big jump in features. What ASUS has basically done is refine the experience of gaming on the device. The ROG Phone 2 continues the tradition of using an SoC specially made for gaming. This time it's called the Snapdragon 855 Plus and it's clocked at a max speed of 2.96 GHz instead of the regular 2.84 GHz that we have seen on the normal Snapdragon 855. The rest of the hardware is also top notch. It sports a 128Hz AMOLED HDR display, 12GB of RAM. UFS 3.0 256GB of storage and a gigantic 6000mAh battery with 30W fast charging. The ROG Phone 2 is also a part of a gaming ecosystem. It comes with aeroactive cooler case that houses a dedicated fan, there's the Kunai gamepad and the TwinView dock 2 along with the mobile desktop dock. This makes the ROG Phone more than just a smartphone. We got some time to use the phone and the accessories playing games and got the feeling that mobile gaming is finally being taken seriously. We played using the gamepad and the TwinView dock too and finally on the desktop dock. So let's see how each of them enhanced the gaming experience on the ROG Phone 2. The Q9 gamepad is a full-fledged controller that also transforms into Joy-Con-like controllers that you can attach to the side of the phone. It's got 21 buttons with even some on the handle itself. The best part, the gamepad works with your PC as well. There's also the option to bind macros and you can also use the gamepad along with the twin view dock. Now I'm not very used to a gamepad so it took some time for me to get used to the controls but I'm sure this will be helpful for console gamers that want to game on a smartphone. The twin dock too takes after its predecessor. It acts as a secondary display and you can use a phone as the controller or even attach the gamepad to it to turn it into a giant contraption. The dock itself comes with a 5000mAh battery inside and the unit we had wasn't the final build and as such it had some problems turning the phone into the controller but I'm guessing the experience would be pretty seamless and might become like pretty good for people who are looking into a dual display gaming setup for their phone. But now what we liked the most was the desktop dock. It's a secret weapon where you can have a massive upper hand in mobile games like PUBG Mobile and Shadowgun Legends. The desktop dock now allows you to pair a mouse and keyboard to play games like PUBG Mobile. Now you might be wondering if that's cheating, but technically all ASUS is doing is allowing the keys to be mapped to the on-screen buttons. But to tell you the truth, it did give me an unfair advantage to the deathmatch game I played using the setup. Headshots after headshots, I'm pretty sure players on the other team thought I was some pro player. The ASUS ROG Phone 2 is more than just a smartphone. Yes, it does the standard smartphone features pretty well. There's a 48MP primary sensor paired to another secondary camera. There's UFS 3.0 storage and much more. The phone also retains the air triggers and you can now do more with it. And there's a three layer cooling system just like last time. All in all, the ROG Phone 2 is pretty exciting, but it's presently held back by the lack of viable games that truly make use of all that extra firepower. It's something that plagues every gaming phone out there in India right now. It's a chicken and egg situation to be honest. Developers need more people to start using gaming phones, while users won't buy gaming phones unless there are games that exploit every bit of the features. Now, presently, both the OnePlus 7 Pro and other dedicated gaming phones offer the same performance, and there's nothing really separating the gaming phones save for the additional accessories that they come with. The ROG Phone 2 is also plagued by the same problem, but we are hopeful of seeing some more graphically intensive titles made for gaming phones pretty soon. Now that's all that we had to share about the ROG Phone 2 with you guys. We promise you we'll be holed up for days gaming when the ROG Phone 2 comes to our lab. Now let us know what you guys 
want us to check out in the phone in the comment section below. And for more videos like this, stay tuned to Digit.in. For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.